Okay. The one-up bundle isn't a typical package of Six teams of developers. Some of us have one guy, some of us have six guys. We've come together and we're getting funding for our next projects. And we're doing so by offering the projects we've already completed. And I think that's the big difference between us and the other bundles out there. We're not out changing the world, we're just a bunch of people who have come together to make this campaign a success. And if it's successful, we hope to keep doing it and help more underdogs and more indie developers. Matt Colon and I are working on the Ninth Wizard Rings of Eternity, a roguelike that is designed to be moddable and customizable. What funding would do for us is allow the full expansion of that moddability. It will allow us to host a file sharing network where players can upload their own scenarios, dungeons or quests, and share them across the world. The guys at Lazy Brain Games are working towards Infernal Edge 2, a full-length version of the acclaimed first incarnation. After attending the GDC this year, Johnny B is inspired to bring the title to its full potential. Caveman Craig 2 was released on the 1st of March for PC only. Parabox is looking to port the game as well as add additional content. The game is fully prepared to receive DLC and new patches. This campaign can make that happen. Britannon is looking to the web and mobile platforms with its puzzle logic game Skull Reaction. The simple graphics and addicting gameplay are just the tip of the iceberg as they develop this title. Sunny Cat is taking Koya Rift to its full potential. Although we won't call it a sequel or even an expansion, new features, new content, and improved playability are in development for this awesome game. Cinders is the beautiful masterpiece of Moa Cube. The incredible emphasis on atmosphere, art, and music put the development price tag of this title fairly high, but you can easily see the growth and quality from Magi. The love and effort put into this game shine pretty clearly. Those are the titles that you're supporting with your contribution. Now I want to show you the six that you're going to get at any contribution level. That's five dollars for six games. Today we enjoy indie games in abundance. Whether you play on mobile devices, consoles, or computers, you're probably familiar with titles such as Angry Birds, Minecraft, or Super Meat Boy. What was that? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Blue, champion of indie games, and he's holding the one-up, life force of the indie developer. But what if these individuals were never inspired? What if indie games never existed? Well, let's take a look at such a world, shall we?
Look at all these poor gamers lining up to purchase the same games they've been playing for years. They don't know what they're missing. They'll never play titles like Vessel, Limbo, or Atom Zombie Smasher. Here we join the Joneses as they enjoy some nice family action. Are they playing the spectacular first-person shooter Amnesia? Certainly not. They're playing the shooter trilogy number 72. Let's travel over to the big game con. Here we see people lining up. Let's take a look at what's inside. Well, it looks like we have a great turnout this year. With such a wide selection, who wouldn't be a happy gamer? Oh look, they're passing out awards. It looks like they've selected a winner for the creative game of the year. No surprises there, Shooter Trilogy number 72 takes it again. That's 30 years running. What has become of the would-be indie developer? Here we are, the big game factory, where enjoyment and ingenuity come together. Well, let's take a look inside, shall we? Ah, uh, here we have someone. It looks like they're hard at work on video games. Let's see what they're working on. It's nice to know that the individuals are still part of the game-making process. Well, he sure looks happy to be doing his part. Well, would you look at that. It seems creativity can still exist in a world such as this. He's even got the attention of management. They must be taking him to a place where he can explore his ideas. Although, it was a slightly peculiar invitation. Well, kids, there's no more of this world to see. Oh, Blue, there's our champion. It seems our world is a pretty bleak one without you. Indie up, and keep the dream alive!